Political candidates have already spent more than $4.7 billion in the 2018 election cycle. Election trackers say that makes it the most expensive midterm in history. All that spending has led to a lot of campaign ads online and on TV. Some of them good, many of them bad, and some just plain ugly. It's incredibly painful. And well, a great campaign ad will cut across the grain. So you will see something that you will either shock you into attention or will inspire you. A good campaign ad probably won't tip an election, but buzzworthy ads can bring attention to candidates that many people may not have noticed otherwise. And in this campaign cycle, the ads that captured the most attention came from first-time female candidates. Women like me aren't supposed to run for office. I wasn't born to a wealthy or powerful family. Mother from Puerto Rico, dad from the South Bronx. When I was 13, my congressman told me I couldn't fly in combat. He said Congress thought women ought to be protected and not allowed to serve in combat. Injured and unable to fly, I was barred from my next career choice because I was a woman. Hi. So I came home. Hello. I worked in healthcare and business. I got married and started my family. Wait, barred because I was a woman? That's ridiculous. The candidates that are running for the first time, who are women, who are sort of non-traditional candidates, um, you know, from different places, are really breaking through if they are coming across as authentic and as normal human beings, the kind of people that you'd actually want to represent you. But there have been a lot of campaign ad duds in the 2018 cycle, many of them from candidates trying their hand at some comedic relief. Never hold town halls anymore with constituents. You've lost that centrist feeling because you've been right wing appealing. There is an inferno raging in Washington. But here in the land of 10,000 lakes, we know how to put out a fire. Midterms are generally considered referendums on the current president, so it's not uncommon to see ads where candidates compare themselves to the president, sometimes very closely. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. You are not the president. You are never going to be the president. And as we were talking about earlier, it's that inauthenticity that really steps, has you step in it. Candidates on both sides have had to walk back their rhetoric after taking it too far in their ads. I got a big truck. Just in case I need to round up criminal illegals and take them home myself. Yep, I just said that. After 9-11, the greatest threat to our democracy lived in a cave. Today, he lives in the White House. Cohen says the lessons learned from these 2018 campaign ad gaffes will help the parties shape their messaging in 2020. You know, there's definitely some calibration that's going on in both parties trying to figure out how much can I be like Trump, and on the other hand, how much can I go against Trump, um, and how aggressive can I be without going too far.